I just finished the show, come back to the car. No search warrant. These lame ass niggas. These green ass police. Certain car, no motherfucking reason. No For what? Anymore. What we do? Set up. What I do? What I do? What I do? I ain't do nothing. I'm reaching to him, him, him. Free Rollo. On God. I'm talking about. Since, since, since when? Since when? When you get get booked as a, uh, to come do a show? Like you know what I'm saying? When you on, when you doing business and the, the police invade a nigga privacy? You know what I'm talking about? With no search warrants, not let a nigga know no reason. You know what I'm saying? Just big cap. So let me tell y'all what they said. <laughs> These lame ass police officers tell smart ass nigga me. They had K9 dogs, right? Alright, check this out. So they searching the car, right? Why the fuck the dog ain't searching the car? Where the dogs at? Did y'all say that this, this smell, smell the, the, the so-called drugs or whatever that y'all, the dog smell or we got? All right, so boom. If you got a canine dog, search the car, smell the car, the dog gonna take you to exactly where the shit is, right? Okay. So, tell me why these dumb fucks flipping the car upside down to find some shit. <laughs> Motherfucker. Then another thing will fuck me up. <laughs> I know, bro. <laughs> it ain't even funny, but bad, bro. We pull up, but they already police already know who a nigga is. That, that ain't no good thing. Like that ain't no good feeling. Tell me, are you a fan? You listen to a nigga music? Nah, you need to unfan yourself, my friend. <laughs> Hell no. Hold on, I ain't done. I'm gonna be talking about this shit all day, cause this shit petty. <laughs> then the main the, the 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 main police officer, I'm talking about the main green ass little square white ass nigga that just try to get everything done. Guess who guess who he was? Yeah, you guessed it. A black nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass. Oreo. All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? So we got two stories here, a couple of Memphis artists, so I decided to combine the two. I don't have that many details for both, so I decided to just put them both together. Yo, first and foremost, I think what Key Glock is talking about is super serious, right? Like, I don't want people to start playing around with, like, serious shit. I'm not saying Key Glock's doing this, but I want to make sure we all on one accord. Like, yo, when people claim that they were violated by the police. I'm the type of dude, I put a lot of stock in that. Like, yo, if my kid came to me and was like, yo, I was out in public, the police, uh, I got pulled over and the police violated my rights. You best believe I'm the type of father who's, I'm, I'm heading straight down to the police station until we figure some shit out. Right, until I feel good about this situation. I ain't going nowhere. All right, I'm that type of person, right? With anybody that I really care about, honestly, like, when people start throwing out, yo, I was wrongfully violated by the police i take that shit really serious we, and ironically i just did that video about jesse smollett who apparently was lying about something on a much higher scale but it's the same issue at the end of the day do we feel like people are lying or placating off real issues just because they're involved in a situation and in this situation kick lock saying that the police violated him they had no reason to rightfully search his car uh, as he was heading into a show or while he was doing his show, when he came out, it was 12 all around his vehicle. They stopped him to make sure him and his team got searched. And it looked like he walked away scotch free. I'm guessing they didn't find anything of importance. Now, I will say this about Key Glock's situation. If I'm not mistaken, generally speaking, and I don't know where he was performing at. I couldn't find that city out. Generally speaking, in most states, though, if police believe that they have... Uh, that they can clearly smell like marijuana or some type of illegal substance. Technically, they can 
go forward and search your car. I think that shit's very dangerous because if I'm a police officer, every time I'm just going to say, I thought I smelled weed from dude car, right? And Key Glock was saying they didn't have any type of warrant or any type of smell. And if they walked away with nothing, I like Key Glock, Key Glock didn't get locked up for that situation. Like, yo, what did y'all really smell? Right? Like if y'all didn't find anything in my car, y'all didn't have probable cause to be searching my vehicle. Y'all walked away with nothing with K9 dogs. Then what are we doing? Like what, what, th that's not fair. You, anyone, police can pull over anyone if they're saying like, yo, we smelt some and then they end up looking at your car and they find nothing. Where's our protection in that? I'm just going with what Key Glock said in his story. I don't know if he's telling the truth or not. I'm just rolling with it, you know, to, to, to give him the benefit of the doubt. Now I will say this, what I didn't like what Key Glock said, yo, police got to stop this shit. When they come to your vehicle or when if they know you, you're a public figure and they're like, yo, I'm a fan of your music. Bro, you got a job to do. Bro, you telling me you thinking about locking me up, you searching my shit. We are not friends, all right? You are no fan of mine. If you're telling me you about to lock me up or there's a chance I might go to jail tonight in a place I don't want to be at, well, I don't have rights and I don't have freedom. Fam, I don't want to hear that, oh, I'm a fan of yours type shit. Like, I'm not saying you got to let me off, but just keep it professional, bro. That ain't professional, bro. Why in the hell is Key Glock saying somebody's, one of these police officers are saying, I'm a, I'm a fan of yours? I don't know, maybe that that's what let him out. I don't know, I'm just saying, like, don't be saying you a fan of mine if, if I can go to jail. Like, be professional and say you got a job to do. Treat me like everyone else. If you ain't showing me any favorites, treat me like everyone else. But don't don't you go say I'm a fan of yours because now I'm looking at you funny like there could be some bias for me or, or against me. Anywho, salute to Key Glock in that situation. If he feels like he was wrong, homie should go forward and file some type of legal action against him. We'll see. I'll keep y'all up to date if something else furthers from that. Speaking of uh, Memphis rap, by the way, salute to Key Glock. That clown record that he got on his last project, one of my favorite tunes that I'm still bumping at right now. I'm actually still bumping that whole Glaucoma tape. That's hard. All right, salute to Key Glock. I interviewed Key Glock last year. Salute to him. First time meeting him. He was, showed a lot of love to me and my team, so salute to him. Another Memphis rapper in the news, though, Blockboy JB, CMG Zone. Blockboy JB had an incredible 2018. It was headed by that big time record. That's like three, four times platinum now. Look alive, look alive. 901 Shelby Drive featuring that boy Drizzy Drake. Fast forward, literally pretty much identically a year later when since when Blockboy dropped that Look Alive record. Um, he's starting his 2019, not the way he started his 2018. Unfortunately, Blockboy JB is a wanted man right now. All right, one in the state of Tennessee, wanted for possession of drugs, being a convicted felon with the possession of a handgun, and for theft of property. Now, here's my thing, all right? Because social media is going to get a lot of you niggas locked up. I'm just being honest. If Blockboy was trying to remain low-key, it doesn't help that hours before police say they're looking for Blockboy JB, he posted a picture tagging his location. I mean, fam, I cannot make this shit up. Fam, yo, what? Yo, why? No, no, don't do that. That's not good. And and by the way, a lot of you guys who rap nowadays, I'm concerned about y'all. Like, two reasons I'm concerned. First and foremost, a lot of y'all, even though y'all might be, and I'm not saying this is Black Boy JB situation, I'm just saying, generally speaking, a lot of rappers, they can't put their phone down, right? And they ain't as rich as Black Boy JB, so even with them legally involved in a situation, their phone's in their hand on IG Live pretty much telling their situation. We talk about this all the time on my platform that people are literally, uh, police are literally investing more money nowadays into social media people, the people that just literally just sit around on the internet and put these crimes together via social media because there's so much self-snitching going on online. Second thing that I don't understand nowadays is what are you rappers going to do when y'all have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of followers, because a lot of rappers are making it or popping locally in a city, right? How are y'all going to hide if y'all want it? <laughs> Where in the hell are y'all hiding when y'all promote yourselves as public figures who rap, right? Like, what the hell are y'all going to hide? How, if you got some shit, shit going on, I'm not advocating for anybody to hide if they want it. I'm just saying, if you hiding, bro, where the hell are you going to hide to when everybody knows your face? Your 100,000 followers know you, meaning... People that like you, know you, and people that don't like you who could tell on you if, if you were out somewhere and, and, and people recognize your face. How in the hell are you going to hide like that? 
I wish Black Boy JB the best in his situation. I hope whatever happens, you know, it favors him in regards to that situation. Talented young artist, and I wish Key Glock the, the best in his situation as well. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. Y'all stay tuned. I got another Memphis rap story coming up, a lot more positive. We're going to talk about a new rapper that I've just been put on to recently out of my hometown of Memphis, NLE Chopper. And something that I'm really happy that he did. So stay tuned to my platform tonight. If you're watching All-Star Game, y'all y'all rock out with me and still play my video while you're watching the game. We got something that I really love uh, happening with one of the new young artists out of Memphis who's got a hit on his hand. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.